boy right now and I I've been wanting to do this for a really long time but I just have been super busy this is me finally making this video I don't tour so yeah I'm gonna do my dorm tour it's currently the sun is setting so I gotta kind of do it fast so like the lighting I'm so excited I like my desk pretty clean I have this sun lamp here which is an amazing buy it literally okay it's on Amazon and it has all of these colors that I can turn it to um I can even do like friggin party mode and then this mirror I bought from Ikea it was kind of expensive I'm sure you could find like a a cheaper mirror online but I just liked it because it was wooden and my room needed some warmth because it's just a lot of plastic and like I don't know, like this desk is not that cute. These candles, I thrifted. They're so cute. And then I have these picture frames. And this lamp I also got, my mom got for me for my birthday from a vintage store. So most of the stuff here I did not buy new. Like this picture frame I didn't buy new. Um, I really love thrifting like little things that like bring the whole room together. This crate is from Hay Crates, so I did actually not thrift that but yeah it's just a lot of like little things that like bring color in the other thing i will say that i love is my diffuser so this is this side of the room so this is actually a butterfly chair um it's black it's kind of ugly that um i got from target um and it's really comfy but i didn't like it so i covered it with this sheet that i got from goodwill um and i i washed a lot so people that get freaked out about that don't get mad at me i washed it many times but and then this is a pillowcase i got from ikea it's just really cute and i like it so it's just for guests, I don't know, or if I just want to like sit down and take a little lunch break. Yeah. Um, and then these curtains, I definitely suggest getting because they hide my enormously way too packed closet and shoes. Um, all my clothes and shoes, I have way too many of them. Pack light for college. I learned the hard way and now I'm gonna have to take it all back to my house so yeah this is where I hang all of my like bags and stuff and usually this is not here also wow I'm really um not organized right now but I'm so sorry I literally should have done this before I started the video but it's okay I don't feel like retaking it so this is what we're doing this is the mirror I use all the time I love it it's my life mirror I like having like something near my door so I don't lose things because I lose things really easily so I like just throw my wallet and my keys here so I don't lose it. Whiteboard I definitely suggest. This one I have it's like a month it's a month one so I can like write all my classes and like what I'm doing right, this is where I do a ton of stuff like, like breakfast and other things um I'll go right to left top to bottom we'll cover everything Organizer thing. I'm pretty sure it's Amazon. It is amazing. I 10 out of 10 recommend getting one because I, because I'm pescatarian and like I do eat on the healthier side, or at least I, I try to. I have to have a lot of different things to like cook my meals because, like I said before, the dining hall sucks. So basically, this is like an entire kitchen. It is an entire kitchen right here. Um, but I love this. My mom is amazing. She bought it for me and she. Me and my, she and my dad helped me set it up, which is really awesome. Um, but I definitely recommend getting one of these. Just even if you're if you if you're not pescatarian and you don't try to eat clean, which is completely fine, totally up to you. I'm not making you feel bad for that. Um, you don't like you could use it for anything. Like I use I also use it for like hats and like my beach towels and like stuff like that. So like it's your prerogative. It also comes with these hooks, which are amazing. And this is where I keep my backpack hooked here. On the top, I have this fake 
Ikea plan. I painted this. I saw this poster online that I loved. So I literally just, I actually had COVID at the time. I had nothing to do, I had COVID. So I was like, I'm gonna remake this poster. And it actually turned out really well. Found this frame for $5 at a vintage store. Amazing. I got my projector here, which I project movies onto that wall. Whenever I wanna watch a movie or a show instead of getting a TV. Because personally, personally, I think TVs are kind of ugly. They're just like big black boxes. Fashion magazine on my New York design and home book. Which this is also a crate from Hay, but there's cheaper alternatives on other sites. So I suggest looking into it if you do decide to buy some like colored crates because they're kind of like a thing right now, but like I don't know how long they will be. So I don't suggest like spending a ton of money on them because you could just buy them for cheaper somewhere else. Like. I don't know, I'm sure Amazon has an alternative. My coffee maker, which is an essential, it's a tiny Nespresso machine. And then I have all my pods in this little thrifted basket glass thing. China, I don't know. Um, this is my Brita. My roommates and I actually decided to, which I completely suggest you do with your roommates, um, get one of those like tall water jug things that you like push the button and put your cup under. And then we all split the cost of the uh, water jugs, which is like 150 a jug, so it's literally nothing. The only thing is then you have to split the cost of the actual machine, and her dad just bought it for her, so like she didn't ask for the money, which is amazing of her. She's an angel. But um, yeah, so I definitely suggest doing that. But if you can't, then Brita is the way to go. I stick it in my shower, turn the shower water on, fill just through because none of the sinks here, I mean, at FAU at least, fit the Brita underneath the faucet. So you have to use a shower. The other thing I definitely recommend, if you are not gonna be eating in the dining hall that often, or if you have a seven day meal plan or something, um, is getting a Nutribullet. I wanna say I use one like three, four times a week. It's really nice. I just buy like tons of fruit and spinach and then I just freeze it and I throw it in. So very cost effective. And this is my microwave and my fridge uh, bought at Lowe's, I'm pretty sure. Have to fact check me on that, but yeah, it's like a retro little fridge, and I love it so much. I'm gonna like keep it forever, I swear. This is the bottom part. I have this little basket that I just went to IKEA and I bought like kids cups and plates because they're so cute. Stasher bags, definitely recommend these for college students. I put like, I throw all sorts of things in there, put them in the fridge, put them in the freezer, like they're great. And I have my air fryer, which I love, and I can make like all sorts of meals and stuff in it. And I can cook dinner for myself, which is kind of cool. Never, never done that before until I've been here. And it's really nice actually. Um, I have my skateboard, my skates, which I have not used here yet, but I just love them so much. So no decor for now. Last thing I want to show you guys is the things that I have my oh my gosh look how pretty this guy is right now it's so pretty on my windowsill right now i have this plant which usually has big yellow flowers but right now looks gross and dead of course um just my luck some clay mushrooms i made all those bananas <laughs> i'm literally just trying to um ripen them so i put them in the window they're usually not there these are all like clay things that i made like that clay cup the clay little vase looking thing perry can i don't know if it's if i like it i just put it up there it's and my little lightning bolt light that um, my boyfriend bought for me on Amazon, which is amazing. I recommend it. It's really cute. And I just use a command hook to put it up. And then again, I got some more little things. Poster from New York. Some Pinterest pictures. Some of my own pictures and Polaroids. And then my stuffed animals. Because you're never too old to have some cute stuffed animals. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is wall so you're not supposed to but i just use clear scotch tape and tape everything up um and basically what i did is i went on pinterest okay because like people buy for like 70 dollars like those like collage kits to put on your wall don't do that i love tezza like so much like i follow her on instagram i did buy her collage kit actually and i loved it but I feel like it's a lot more um, significant to have your own pictures or even just take pictures that you find online and curate yourself, which is what I do for some of them too. Like this, I've never been to a canyon. Actually I have, but I've never kayaked at a canyon. That's off Pinterest. 
that's off Pinterest. But a lot of these pictures are my own. Uh, it's a movie ticket. Like these are all like theater tickets. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like anything that's like significant to you, just tape it on a wall and just like light it up. And it ends up looking okay. Okay, I hope that I give you guys some advice on some of the things that you could put in your door. I know that when I was moving in, I just honestly was not one of those people that was like super excited for college. I was kind of apprehensive, um, but making my room like my own and like not look like a dorm room and like my actual like home has really, really helped me. I hope it's helped you and hope you have a wonderful day.